In this video, I'm going to explain how to create a project for your class uh, using iNaturalist. So from the iNaturalist homepage, once you're signed in, you click on Projects. And just clicking there, this brings up uh, my personal project page. So this is the class project that my class did, the Loss of Biodiversity Survey. Uh, and these are projects that I've joined. Again, I encourage students to uh, do searches and find projects that um, they could add their observations to. For example, uh, Weeds in La La Land is about uh, weeds growing in Los Angeles, and I've added several of my observations to that one. Uh, Lepidoptera of California is looking for moths and butterflies in California. Uh, explore California tide pools. Uh, we actually took a field trip to look at tide pools. So again, um, I encourage students to look at other projects, and if you peruse other projects, it might give you an idea uh, how to make the best project for your class. So to, to make a project on this project page, you just hit start a new project. Okay. First thing you need is a title. Uh, we actually had a student suggestion. What if we uh, made a project about every living thing just in one park? So we'll just call this one Life in MacArthur Park. Okay, project type, uh, this is just a normal project. Um, for the membership model, uh, open means that uh, anyone can join. If it's invite only, then you need to send uh, an invitation to registered users. Um, I chose invite only for my project because it was a way for uh, to communicate with the students and they had an early homework assignment which was to uh, using the messaging app which you can see up here the messaging app in iNaturalist just send me a summary uh, of what they learned reading their getting started guide as soon as they sent me that summary I invited them to the project so a project description would say uh, a survey of the life in MacArthur Park Okay, uh, up here for the project icon, that will be the icon that, uh, represented, that represents your project on iNaturalist. You can use any icon or any image on your computer there. The project cover does have some um, requirements in terms of its uh, size. I used Photoshop to make sure that my uh, project cover uh, fit those, those pixel requirements. Um, so terms, um, you can just add something. Um, a, a simple rule like um, observations must be from MacArthur Park in Los Angeles. Well, okay, there we go. Uh, location. Well, this is about a particular place, so we can just, there we go, MacArthur Park. Search. And notice that on the map it shows MacArthur Park. Uh, so however you set up your map, this is going to um, be what is shown on the project's main page. Um, now it doesn't make sense to zoom way out here and, and see that it's all of Los Angeles because in this case we're very specifically about MacArthur Park. So I'll have it centered there. Um, and if you want to get into showing a boundary and creating a new place, there are ways to do that. Um, which I invite you to explore where you can use tools to, to set up a specific boundary, but I'm just asking uh, in this simple project that they that they keep it to, to Griffith Park, or excuse me, to MacArthur Park. Uh, you can add rules, okay? So for example, let's add a rule that you have to have a photo, and that's a rule that I had on the project that I used for my students. Um, observation fields, these are, um, essentially invitations to add additional information when students add an observation to the project. So uh, let's say uh, animal behavior. If they saw an animal, that, that, that we ask them to include that information. Um, and then uh, let's see, okay, they could just write out the flower color. And those are just some examples of additional fields. So when they add an observation, that um, that field will be on there. Okay, uh, so we've got a very basic project here at Begun. You just hit Create. Okay, and so here's our project, Life in MacArthur Park. Okay, um, and I don't have any members yet, but as you can see, here is the map. No observations yet. Um, and you can, you know, zoom in and out. You can move around. But if you refresh, it's always going to center right there on where you set it up, again, at MacArthur Park. Okay, and... Um, Essentially, at this point, 
uh, you're just going to be inviting people. You look for your students' names and invite them to the project. Give you a sense of what the project looks like when they're a little further along. Here's my class's project. Again, we have this uh, the banner at the top and add observations button. And then we have these leaderboards, which I discuss uh, in the curating the project section about how I use those uh, to help students get the most out of the project. And as you can see, uh, we have um, on the map of my project, lots of uh, observations here around the school's campus. And then we can keep zooming out and see that even further afield, we've got observations all around the LA area that my students made. And that is how you make a project.